A couple of weeks ago, with great excitement, I came out to the High Desert Museum to see their exhibit, Patterns at Play, Fractals in Nature. But since the term fractals isn't instantly recognizable to many, last week I told you how fractals actually originated in computers. They were digital in nature. But this exhibit is about fractals that are nature in nature. So what exactly are fractals in nature? Well, I sat down with Haley Brazier, the curator of natural history, to find out more. We are at the High Desert Museum in Bend, Oregon, just south of town. And we are here to talk today about Patterns at Play, Fractals in Nature, which is a new exhibit we just opened a few weeks ago. It's a natural history exhibit. We want people to get excited about these really special type of patterns that are found all over nature. Uh, we're excited by the topic, so we knew our audiences would be as well. Recognizing patterns in nature is what helped humans evolve to where we are now. And when you visit the exhibit, you really get a sense that you're experiencing something amazingly intricate, yet amazingly simple at the same time. We wanted to use our physical space to really bring fractals alive for people. So you can walk into this exhibit and begin to feel yourself surrounded by fractals and learn about them visually. You can touch fractals in the exhibit. Um, and it's trying to almost mimic what you would feel outside when you start to learn what fractals look like. So we're hoping to just use our space to immerse people into the experience of patterns. Now, last week I told you about how fractals were first used and are still largely used in the digital realm. It makes sense. The digital world is essentially just ones and zeros. So patterns come together nice and neat. Now, when we see fractals in nature, they can look a little bit messier. So, for example, when a tree sprouts up, and maybe it makes a little shape like this, and as it begins to grow, it repeats that same pattern over and over and over. It's not perfect looking, right? But if you go outside right now and look at a tree, you will see that it's actually pretty much that same shape over and over, and that is a fractal in nature. Fractals are everywhere, and with the Fractals in Nature exhibit, you get a chance to see and create fractals for yourself. We want people to just hang out in the space, and so they're going to see bright colors, they're going to see uh, two large fractivity tables, as we call them, and these are areas where adults and kids, whole families, can begin to play with fractal shapes and begin to build their own fractals. We have floor-to-ceiling images of fractals that are in nature, and so we've taken photography and just blown it up. And so we have a pine cone, for example, from a ponderosa pine tree that's actually from our property. So we're just kind of showing how, how much there are fractals just all around us. We also have um, an aspen leaf that we took from our property and took a photo of and just blew that photo up so you can see that branching fractal pattern. We have a galaxy, the Whirlpool Galaxy. We, we got that image from NASA. Um, there's an image of a mountain range. There's an image of brain neurons. Uh, there's also a, a very large back wall that's interactive. And so you can move your arms around and the pattern begins to react to you moving your arms. So you're seeing fractals being built in real time right in front of you. The idea of these images is to show that fractals are both minuscule in nature, so like even as tiny as the neurons inside our brain, and as large as a galaxy uh, out in space. No matter what we're looking at, nature has a way of arranging itself into these really interesting patterns at the tiniest, tiniest scales and at the biggest, biggest scales. It's amazing. The exhibit's open until the fall, but you may just want to get there a little bit earlier. It'll close on October 5th, which is a Sunday. So October 5th, 2025 is when it will come down. So you have all spring and summer to come and check it out. And when you come see the exhibit, you can learn about fractals and then go outside for the summer and begin to see them everywhere. Tune in next week when Haley gives me the full tour and I channel my inner Obi-Wan Kenobi. Yeah. These aren't the droids you're looking for. <laughs> for Central Oregon Daily News, I'm a Scott Elness-shaped pattern.